Hey, Malcolm Reed here. It's my night to cook. That means it's time for another delicious dinner. I'm doing barbecue grilled pork chops tonight, pairing it with some zucchini and smashed sweet potatoes. Guaranteed to be good. Let's get to cooking. So I've got some center cut pork loin chops that I've seasoned today. And I started with a little bit of olive oil on them, then some AP and then some barbecue rub. You could use your favorite seasons there, whatever you like. I've got my PK good and hot with some Royal Oak charcoal. And we're gonna sear these pork loins. Now I do have it set up for a two zone fire. I've got a chimney full of hot Royal Oak on the right side. The other side's cool, it's just a void. What I'm gonna do is sear these chops, going a minute and a half. We're gonna twist them another minute and a half, flip them, do the same thing. And then I'm gonna move them over to the cool zone. So it's been a minute and a half. Now I'm gonna twist these chops on the grill grates here so I can give me some nice sear marks. Nothing to it. Smelling good, looking good. The lid closed and set another timer for a minute and a half. All right, after three total minutes, it's time to flip these chops. Let's see what they look like. Ooh, yeah, they get some nice marks on them. Seared up. We're gonna repeat the same thing for this back side. Let's make sure they get good, great contact. Get it closed, and get that timer rolling. All right, we're gonna put one last twist on these chops. Good contact with the grate. The lid closed. Another minute and a half, it'll be time to move them to the cool zone. So now we're just gonna move these chops over to the cool side. And I'm just gonna check the internal temp to see where we're at on a couple of these. About 123, 124, same thing there. So we still got a little ways to go. I'm wanting them to get up to about 135 to 140. And I've got some Captain Rodney's Buchan Glaze. Really great on pork. It's kind of sweet. It's got a little peppery note. I'm just gonna drizzle some over the top. Come back with a little basting brush. Just kind of touch it in. We're not going heavy on the glaze. It's just a little sweet vinegary note to go with the pork. So while our chops are coming on up, I'm gonna cook some zucchini on the hot side of the grill. I've got three large zucchini that I just split and quartered lengthwise. Hit them with a little olive oil and then some of that AP seasoning. They're ready to go right on the grill. They're not gonna take long. So we're just gonna start them out. We'll flip them around as needed. Let's get the lid closed. Chops are looking good, about 133. I wanna give them just another minute or so while I'm in here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the zucchini. Let's get them equal grill action on all sides. They kinda of have three sides, the way I quartered them. I don't want them mushy. I still want them to have a little bite. So grilling them real hot and fast like this works really well. Close the lid. So I'm ready to get the chops off. I'm just gonna move them to a sheet pan. They hit right at 138. That is finished enough for me for some chops. They're gonna come on up as we sit here and let them rest. Our zucchini needs to be turned. Make sure it's not sticking. Get some nice grill marks on it. Char it a little. So the zucchini's been on about six total minutes. It's got grill marks all the way around it. We've just been rolling it on the grill. That's as much as I want to cook it because it'll get mushy. It'll want to fall apart on you. I'm going to go ahead and take it up with our chops here that have been rusting. We'll be ready to make a plate. Now to go with our barbecue pork chops and the grilled zucchini, I'm also doing some smashed sweet potatoes. And these are real easy. I preheat them oven to 425, put three large sweet potatoes in there for about 40 minutes. So I cut the sweet potatoes in half and squeezed them right out of the peel, mashed them up some, added a half a stick of butter, some heavy cream, salt, pepper, and the two good dashes of cayenne pepper. That kind of kicks them up a little bit without getting them spicy, but it's a really good savory sweet potato. Mix it all together, we're ready to plate. If that don't sound delicious, I don't know what does. So let me show you how I'm gonna serve it. First, we gotta come with one of these big, thick cut chops glazed with the Captain Rodney's Buchan Glaze. Also gonna put three or four of our zucchini spears that we seasoned with the AP and grilled. And then it needs some sweet potato, smash style. If you wanted it creamy, you could whip it with some blenders, but hey, this is my dinner and I'm doing it kind of rustic. Now if that doesn't look delicious, I don't know what does. It's time to eat. And I've got to try one of these chops before dinner. There's three of us, so hey, I got four chops. And look at that, it's perfectly cooked all the way through. Only took about 10 minutes on the grill. I'm gonna see if it's worthy to eat. Oh man, I love that little fatty edge around. It's charred up a little bit. Mm, so good. Barbecue pork chop doesn't get any easier. You can do this whole dinner in about 45 minutes. That includes firing up the grill. Hey, thanks for checking the video out today. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shell and I will talk about this delicious dinner and all the other fun stuff we're cooking on our weekly podcast. Y'all give that a listen too. I'm fixing to get down on these pork chops. We'll see y'all next time. Mm. Man, that's a good pork chop. Crunchy on the edge, juicy in the middle. Mm.